Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's model this one. So this one. Okay. So let's um, actually. Um, I think uh, um, we might try, try a different method for this one. But today, we're going to use uh, just use a roof and um use modify sub element to create this shape and next time we might try um different method so we can um make it a more uh, parametric so we can adjust adjust the size okay so let's okay so let's start so today is um the traditional <laughs> traditional method so uh we're just going to use the roof so let's start so first um maybe let's go to side plan so and roof and let's create a so first we need to create a square shape roof so roughly uh let's make it nine meter by nine meter okay ah, my. Okay, so to, to use the modify sub element, so first we need to uncheck the slope. Okay, we can only do it on a flat roof. So maybe uh, let's change it to a um, gen generic. Okay, so yeah, nice green roof. Okay, so what we need to do now, so we need to go f uh, find, so if you, let's have a look. So there's a gap uh, that's a void in the middle, a, a square shape. And then we need to, um, I think we need to roughly get the location of all these points because we're going to draw, create a, um, split lines and uh, points. So I think, uh, okay, so this is this point is roughly center of that. So it's all um, quite simple i believe um okay so let's go back so first um edit for print so i think let's create a square uh in the middle so i'll just try to uh, try three meter i'm not sure tab ah that's too big uh three five let's have a look yeah i think that's better okay so now we have a gap in the middle so finish and then I'll just um, uh, try to pick. So let's just draw some line or reference line. So re oh, sorry, reference plan. And I think uh, let's try use S2. So I just discovered this one today. So S2, which is nice to pick the center point, right? Center uh, point between any two points. So let's try again, RP, S2. Okay, so something like that. Great. Um, okay, so now I'm going to just mirror uh, DM 45 degrees. So I got, we had, oh, sorry, I forgot that we don't have that. So let's do it again DM. So have that but copy checked. Okay, so um, I think let's have a look again. We We have this point, this point. And middle point all good I think that's all good so now we can start to use the modify sub element so we need to add some uh, ref uh, sorry add some split lines I think um, yeah split line midpoint here 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 uh, no 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 here yeah, I want to see if I can mirror them. I'm not sure. I just want to have a try. DM, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, looks like we need to manually uh, create all this split line. So SM, oh, no, that's not what we want. So maybe um, let's just continue. So, oh. How can I get that point? I think this one, it's a little bit tricky because we created this one. Maybe uh, we, we do this one first and then we can find the midpoint. 
great. Uh, this one first. Then we can find the midpoint. Okay, last one. So now let's go to 3D view. So we can see it's quite, it's still flat. And then we, we can, uh, let's have a look again. We can start to um, change the level of, so for example, we can change the level of these four. So let's select, oh, can we select all of them together? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll just have a try. Two meter, and doesn't work. That's fine. So let's just do them individually. Two meter, and then do this one. Two meter, okay. Maybe let's make it three meter instead. Three, good. And then we need two. Let's have a look. Okay, raise, raise, we need to raise this one, raise this one. Okay, so it oh, looks like we need another. So, but that's fine, we can do it later. So I'll raise this one, for example, 900, uh, a little bit more, 1200, same, 1200, 1200, 1200, 1200. Okay, almost last one. And you will see it become a little bit curved, right? So that's fine. We can just add another split line from this point. Oops, sorry. <laughs> split line from this point to this point and then make it uh, straight or a sharp angle instead of curved, right? And yeah, I think that's it. So let's just, uh, we need to increase uh, this height a little bit more. Let's make it five meter. Okay, so this is, so let's have a look. Right, good. Yeah, so probably need to. Um, I'm not sure. I want. Let's see if we can select the. Yeah, it looks like we can select all these points. But then I'll see if I can just adjust the level altogether. Or like type enter. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Great. And this is it. So this is a roof. So from the top, it's a square shape and quite interesting. Okay, so this is it for today. So we just used um, just a roof um, and then use, we used a modified super element and add split line and adjust the level of uh, these. Uh, points and then create this shape. So um, next time, I think we will try to use a different method to make because um, the because this roof you um, I don't think so. If you want to in, uh, uh, change the scale of this, so increase the size or reduce the size, I don't think it's possible. So, for example, I want to increase, I'll use RE, scale it, so make it bigger, finish, oh, hell, it works, great, but, yeah, but um, the footprint increased, but the, the level, the level, all this, uh, the height of these points are still the same, so if I control Z, you will see. See here, if I control Y, still there. So, which means the the overall the shape of this roof will change. Um, next time we are going to, I think we will go, uh, we will try uh, adaptive family to create this shape. So, and then we can scale it, uh, and it 
will still keep the this um, the overall scale. <laughs> the, oh, sorry, keep the shape of of the roof. Okay, so that's it for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.